Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet and Google Classroom. This video covers how Google Meet is now integrated right into Google Classroom to make it easier than ever to create Meets for your students and to keep students from joining the Meet without you. In an earlier video in this series, I explained how you can use nicknames when creating a Google Meet to keep students from joining the Meet before you or from rejoining the Meet after you have left. That method still works great, especially for those people who do not use Google Classroom at all, or if you are inviting students to a Meet that are not part of your Google Classroom. However, for those who use Google Classroom, we now have a new easy option for managing Meets with your students. In general, here's how it works. For each Google Classroom that you have, you can now generate a unique Google Meet link for the students in that classroom. The link for the Meet can be displayed on the Stream page and on the Classwork page of the classroom so your students and you can easily access it. You can use the same Meet link over and over again anytime you want to video conference with your students. However, the students cannot join the Meet without you, so they can't access the Meet before you are there or rejoin the Meet after it is over and you have left. Let's take a look at the specifics for how to set this up and to use this new integration. First, go to Google Classroom as normal and open up one of your classes. Next, click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner to access the settings for that class. Now scroll down to the general section of the settings. Here you will find a setting for Google Meet. Click the button for Generate Meet Link. This will now create a unique Google Meet link for your class and your students. If you do not want your students to have access to the link just yet, you can toggle off the setting for Visible to Students. If you turn on this setting, the Meet link will be accessible on the Stream page and the Classwork page. You can also click on the down arrow next to the Meet link to copy the link if needed, or to reset the link to a new unique link if needed. Copying the Meet link is helpful if you want to invite someone to the Meet who is not in your Google Classroom, such as another teacher or a guest speaker. When done, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the page to save these changes. Now when you or your students go to that classroom, you can access the Meet link at the top of the Stream page, as well as the top of the Classwork page. In addition to being convenient for you and your students, this is also a special Meet that does not allow the students to join before you or rejoin after you end the Meet. For example, let's switch over to being a student. And now let's click on the Meet link in Classroom to try to join the Meet even though the teacher has not started it yet. When the student tries this, they get an error saying the meeting code you entered doesn't work. However, let's switch back over to being the teacher and let's go ahead and start up the Meet by clicking on the link in Classroom and then clicking Join Now. Now let's go back to being a student and let's click on the Meet link in Classroom and now we're able to join. At this point, you can run the Google Meet as normal, providing a lesson, having a meeting, answering questions, presenting your screen, and more. However, when you're done with the Meet, you need to make sure all of the students leave the Meet before you do. You can simply wait for all the students to disconnect, or if needed, you can remove a student by clicking on the People button up in the top right-hand corner, and then finding the students who have not left, and click on the down arrow to the right of the student, and then click on the Remove button. Once all the students have left the Meet, you can safely disconnect as well. Now let's go back over to being a student and let's see what happens if the student tries to rejoin the Meet after everyone has left and you have left too. If a student tries to rejoin the Meet using the link in Classroom and you are not in the Meet, they will get the same error as when they tried to connect before you had joined. 
Now please note there is about a 30 second window of time after you end the meet that it is still technically active and the students can rejoin. So if you have any concern that the students may be jumping back on during that small window, you can rejoin after a minute or two just to double check. And that's how the integration works between Google Classroom and Google Meet. Now keep in mind, each class does get its own unique Meet link, so you do need to go into the settings at least once for each class to turn this feature on. However, once it is turned on, this is an easy way for you and your students to connect for video conferencing anytime you need. So those are the basics for how to use the Google Meet integration that is now built into Google Classroom. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet and Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos and www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.